Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for watching us. It is a beautiful morning. And uh, what I'm doing today, or just this morning, I just got some feed. I'm going to take over to the original herd, feeding those calves. This is our DNH bull blend that we use. We get from the mill here locally. But uh, this morning, what I'm going to do is uh, I just got some of these blocks. These are. Uh, it's a sweet blocks. I don't have a deal or nothing with these guys, but I, I noticed the advertisement in um, at the meal where we get mostly everything. Uh, these are 20% protein blocks. And, and one thing that I like about them is uh, this is just a supplement feed is all it is. In the wintertime, uh, you look out there in the pasture and you see lots of grasses, but you guys know that these grasses go dormant. A lot of the native grasses here at the Ponderosa, the new ranch, they go dormant. Just like everywhere else and um, uh, there is some winter grasses and whatnot that the bison can eat but sometimes you just got to supplement them uh, just like cattle uh, that's what these are actually for it's just uh, these are for beef cattle and uh, they do make a 30 percent protein tub but we're just going with the 20 percent and this is a bit cheaper than a, a lot of tubs um, just by sweet i think the brand is actually sweet licks this is just called a sweet blocks which is basically what it is but uh, there's molasses in it, which is good for bison. There's a bunch of other supplement uh, minerals in here uh, that they will that they can consume during the winter. And uh, we supplement feed. We give them cubes and whatnot, which you've seen me do that a lot, the little 14% cattle cubes. Uh, but, you know, here, we're gonna, I'm going to give this to the big herd. I'm going to give it to our calves, which is something that they can munch on whenever they feel the need. You know, it's like a, like a Snickers or something, a little snack. Oh, hope you guys like the pine trees. Got some. I, I, I need some ponderosa pines, but I hear these are loblolly pines. Uh, I saw them locally in Davis, and uh, got them for a deal. A guy was trying to get rid of them, so I bought some. Gave two to my mom for Christmas, and uh, brought some out here for the ponderosa. So I think I need some ponderosa pines to to plant out here to kind of fit the ponderosa pine uh, deal and so i learned a bit a little bit more about the ponderosa where that came from that name it's bonanza i know you guys are probably going dusty that's bonanza yeah the term ponderosa which kevin talked about it and named it um it is from the show uh bonanza so i'm learning guys i know i probably should have already watched that show but um i'm going to now and i'm intrigued so anyways when i say what the pond when i say i'm going to the ponderosa it is our um AKA name for the new ranch, basically. This is the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch. <laughs> That's not changing. But uh, we, as a family, all call it the Ponderosa now, and it's just kind of a thing. So if you hear me say Ponderosa, I'm talking about the new ranch, just so you guys know. Um, here, hanging out with the Dakota Pure herd. If you hear me say that, I know they're the Cross Timbers herd now, but uh, the Dakota Pure calves, they're doing great. Beautiful calves, excited uh, for their future and for our bulls feature. We still haven't named the bull, by the way. My wife and I talked recently about uh, about what we're gonna name him, but uh, he, he's right here. He, uh, he kind of reminds me of a young Dunbar. He's very curious, he's getting used to us, and he's the first one to feed, he's the first one to water, and he's, uh, he's just the first one kind of out, and he's the one that's been closest to us, um, which is good. We, we want him to get used to people and whatnot, but he, uh, I don't know. We're coming up with some names for him, so we'll see. So just to kind of give you guys a rundown of what I've been doing here, I've been learning how to be an electrician. I've been plumbing for new automatic waters that we're installing. Uh, I've learned how to become an electrician, sort of. Don't 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 give me too much credit. But, uh, you know, as a rancher, farmer, whatever you want to call it, um, learning all these traits is really nice. And when you own 10 cabins, you have to learn how to do all that, too. But uh, uh, being an electrician has not been my thing. But now um, we've been running um, electricity through this barn. So that's something that I've been working on here recently. Every time I come over here, I try to pick it up and do something and, and run some conduit. We're running 12-2. Um, MCC, I think is what it's called, line through here, some conduit, and uh, getting this thing lit up so we can have some light in this awesome barn. So I'm um, going to go put out a tub to the big herd, big Joe herd, and then I'm going to come back in here and give some to the Dakota Pure Cabs. Let's, uh, let's go put this out.
Guys, don't make fun of my little tractor either. I know you're probably going, Dusty, uh, you need a new cap. Take a look here. I know. You know, this this little Kubota, and back in 2019, this came with the cabin property. And it is a beast of a little tractor. I think it's a 75 horsepower tractor, but it does, it, it gets stuff done. It may not do the big projects. It, it can't, uh, we can't pick up a hay bale with it or nothing. And that's okay. That's okay. But uh, it does enough and it helps. It's helping me right now because these sweet blocks, these blocks are heavy, heavy, heavy. So, uh, and I know it needs a new cap. So we put some plastic on it, keep the diesel from popping out. Just uh, the stuff that you got to do, you know, to, to make it work. So we're making it work. Where are they at? Ah, oh, there they are. They are gonna like that. Goodness. That's a good scratch there. Joe is loving it. It's a good scratcher, I guess. <laughs> this is a Texas cow, in case you guys didn't know. I don't think she likes Maya. She's gonna go rub on that tree now. Going here with the calves. You guys get back.
gonna go ahead and get this tub out. Drop it off out here. Ooh, it looks good. Hey, big guy. Should like your new tub. Hey guys, welcome back to the original ranch. I know I haven't been over here near as much as I used to. I've been working hard on the new ranch, the Ponderosa, trying to get it going, get running electricity, like I said, plumbing, all kinds of, of stuff, trying to take care of that herd. Kevin is over here, he lives over here, so he gets to spend more time with them than I do. What's up, big fella? Don't have any cues on me today. I gave them to you last time. You're getting big, buddy. No, you guys miss Kit. There's our feisty cow. You got some mud in your horns, Kit. I still come over here and, and feed some and, and bring them goodies and whatnot. So I'm trying to get a little closer to my truck <laughs> so I can keep myself safe here from this big guy. He's wanting some. He's wanting some cubes from me, but uh, I don't have any with me. So anyways, this herd is doing good. It's good just to pull out here. There, oh, there's our cutie over there. There's our, there's our princess. Get out of the way. There's Eleanor. She's hiding behind Dunbar. But it's good to get over here and just sit and relax a little bit and just watch and make sure they're doing okay and just doing a, a real good herd check, basically. And um, making sure everybody's okay. So there she is. There's our princess. <laughs> I'm gonna stand up here because. Hey, little one. Hey, girl. They all seem like they're doing good. Looking pregnant. Some of them looking obviously pretty pregnant, which is good sign to see. They should have some decent sized bellies. Yeah, peaches right there. Eleanor, little quapaw. You've got uh, Flo over there. Um, this is what we call our grand champion quapaw. We got her. We got quapaw there. Dakota. Hey guys, thank you for watching. I uh, appreciate you following us along as we go through and uh, doing herd checks and giving them some protein tubs and things like that. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for following. Sorry I haven't been over here near as much at the original place, but uh, I do come over here and check them and whatnot and, and, Kevin, and Kevin helps me out a ton. So thanks to Kevin and uh, for all of his help over here taking care of the original place and, and me going back and forth and, and spending some time at the, the new ranch getting it going. So thank you guys for watching us. Hope you enjoy all the videos. Thanks for following us.